Good day, this is Teacher Riza, and this is our lesson 9 for week 5 of quarter 3 in statistics and probability. That is, statistic versus parameter and sampling distribution of sample means. Our learning competencies for this lesson are distinguishes between parameter and statistic and identifies sampling distribution of statistics, which is sample mean. We define statistics as a number which describes a sample. It can be directly computed and observed. An example of this is a sample mean, which is used as estimator for the population mean. Another example of a statistic is the sample mean, sample standard deviation, and sample median. And parameter is a descriptive measure of a population. And like statistic, the parameter can only be estimated or approximated. An example of parameter is population mean, population standard deviation, and the population median. Parameter versus statistic. When studying statistics, you might come across many terms that, if you aren't fully concentrated, will create a lot of confusion. For example, take parameter and statistic. If you are talking about a parameter, you are talking about the whole population. And a statistic describes only a sample of the population. So therefore, parameter is a population and statistic is a sample. An example of population is the grade 11 senior high school students of CCNHS. And an example of, so that is a parameter, an example of statistic is the grade 11 ABM senior high school students of CCNHS. So that is a sample. So therefore, grade 11 students is a population and ABM student is only a sample of the population. So that is the difference between parameter and statistic. So parameter is a population, statistic is a sample. Another example of population is the symbol mu, which means population mean. And an example of sample is the symbol X bar, which means sample mean. An example of population is the symbol of sigma, which means standard deviation population or the population standard deviation. And for sample, we have the symbol S, which means sample standard deviation. For the population, again, we have the capital N, which means the number of population. And for sample, we have the small n, which means the number of sample. So now, parameter and statistic is already clear for you. So we have now the sampling distribution of the sample means from a finite population. Wherein sampling distribution is the probability distribution when all possible samples of size n are repeatedly drawn from a population. So here we're going to use again the formula in combination. That is the combination of n objects taken n at a time is equal to capital N factorial where in capital N is the number of observation divided by capital N minus N where in small n is the size of possible random samples factorial times N factorial. For example, six students have the following grades in English. So we have 89, 84, 90, 93, 86, and 82. So we're going to list all possible random sample size of three. So the population here is six since there are six grades and the number of sample here is three because we have only the size of three. So using now the formula of 
the combination of n taken n at a time. So we have the n factorial, which is 6 factorial, divided by 6 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial. Where in 6 factorial is equal to 6 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, and 6 minus 3 is 3 times 2 times 1, and 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. So cancelled now, 3 times 2 times 1, so 6 times 5 times 4 is equal to 120, and 3 times 2 times 1 is equal to 6. Where in 120 divided by 6 is equal to 20. So therefore, we have 20 random samples. Then arrange the observation from lowest to highest. So we have the lowest is 82, 84, 86, 89, 93, 90, and the highest is 93. So list all random sample of size of 3. So we have here the samples 82, 84, 86, 89, 90, and 93. Then we have 82, 86, 89, 90, 93. Then we have 82, 89, 90, 93. Then we have 84, 86, 89, 90, and 93. Then we have 86, 89, 90, 93. Then we have 89, 90, 93. Then we have 82. Then 89, 93, 84, and 86. Then we have 90, 93, 86, and 82. So we have 20 sample with the size of 3 or 3 combination of grades. Example number 2. A certain population consists of the numbers 3, 6, 7, 12, and 4. Construct a sampling distribution of size 3. So first, we're going to determine and list all possible random samples of size 3 and solve the mean of each random samples. So we have here the population. Since there are 5 numbers, so n is equal to 5. And the sample size is 3 because we have a size of 3. So we, using the combination formula, so we have now n factorial, which is 5 factori factorial, divided by 5 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial. Wherein 5 factorial is equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 5 minus 3 is 2 times 1. And 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. So cancel 3, 2, and 1. So we have 5 times 4 is equal to 20. And divided by 2 times 1 is equal to 2. So 20 divided by 2 is equal to 10. So therefore, there are 10 random samples. So next, list all possible random samples of size 3. So we have the random sample of size 3 is 3, 4, 6, 3, 4, 7, 3, 4, 12, 3, 6, 7, 3, 6, 12, 3, 7, 12, 4, 6, 7, 4, 6, 12, 4, 7, 12, and 6, 7, 12. Then get now the sample mean or the average. The average of 3 plus 4 plus 6 is 4.33. And the average of 3, 4, and 7 is 4.67. And the sample mean of 3, 4, 12 is 6.33. Then we have 5.33. Sample mean of 7, 7.33. 5.67, 7.33, and for 6, 7, 12 is 8.33. So you can observe that there are two sample mean for 7.33. So that is the mean of 3, 7, 12, and 4, 6, 12. Then after that, we're going now to construct a frequency distribution of the sample means. So we have here the sample means arranged from lowest to highest. We have 4 4.33, 4.67, 5.33, 5.67, 6.33, 7, 7.33, 7, 7.33, 7.67, and 8.33. And the frequency for 7.33 I go is 2. And the rest are all 1 for 7, 7.67, and 8.33. 0.33 and the probability for 7.33 with a frequency of 2 that is 2 out of 10 so that is 0.20 so the probability of 7.33 is 0.20 
and with the frequency of one that is one out of ten so that is zero point ten so all the others are zero point ten the probability is zero point ten and the total frequency is ten and the probability is one point zero so we we're going now to construct a histogram of the sampling distribution of the means. So we have here for the vertical line, we have the probability, and for the horizontal, we have the sample means. We're in for 7.33, we have the probability is 0 0.2, and the rest are all 1. So for your activity, which entitled describe me, you're going to identify which describes statistic or a parameter. So you're going to write if it is parameter or statistic. That's from number 1 to 10. Then for activity 2, list and construct. So a group of students got the following scores in achievement tests. So that's 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, and 24. Consider samples of size 3 that can be drawn from this population. So you're going to determine and list all possible random samples and the corresponding sample means. So you're going to complete this table. Then construct a sampling distribution of the resultant sample mean. So complete the table. Then draw a histogram of the sampling distribution of the sample means. Wherein we have for the vertical line the probability and we have the horizontal line is the sample means and for activity 3 what I have learned so when does a certain situation describe statistics and number 2 how is statistics differ from parameter so again before we end let me share this minimize watching reading or listening to news that causes you to feel anxious or distressed Search for information from trusted sources only and take practical steps to plan and protect yourself and your loved ones. And according to the WHO, to reduce your risk of COVID-19, clean your hands often, cough or sneeze in your pant elbow, not your hands, avoid touching your eyes, nose and mouth, Limit social gatherings and time spent in crowded places. Avoid close contact with someone who is sick. Clean and disinfect frequently. Touch object and surface. So again, this is teacher Lisa always saying, please stay safe and stay at home. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Good day again. Thank you.